everybody welcome back to the channel today we have our first in a very 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 long time sorry well okay bam box this is the bam box gamer i'm gonna go ahead and say it's for july because i don't know i don't keep up with bam box as much as i used to anymore um I used to get the OG box, which is now I think called the Geek box, and I used to get the horror box. Um, other than financial reasons, some of the boxes weren't pleasing to my taste in most things. Um, it's always different from anybody else. Um, they were just going off of other, I mean, they, they cater to everybody's liking. But they were going off of what I typically like and what I normally see in a band box, which is not their fault. They have to up their game and pease everybody and give more um, more of a variety to other people. I get it. I understand it. But I needed a break. That was it. That was all. And financial reasons, I needed a break too. <laughs> so when I found out they came out with a, a gamer box, I decided we should give this a shot. Yes. Okay, so, sorry, I'm doing two things at once. It is Enig Enigma Week in Pokemon Go, so that's a whole different scenario in and of itself. Um, so, if you see me going this way, I'm sorry. I'm just really wanting to check things so yeah if you play Pokemon Go you will understand where I'm coming from I need to just make videos about it and just get it out of the way but that is neither here nor there that is not the case today we are going to be talking about BAM Gamer I will leave a description uh, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can get your first gamer box or any other box from uh, BAM Box they have the BAM geek box and they have the horror box and then obviously they have the gamer box these are very limited boxes now when I say that when I went to go cancel this one because I had not gotten a tracking information yet I'm one of those people that if I don't get tracking when I'm supposed to before the next box subscribe or renews I try to cancel it before it renews just in case they did say it was limited I understand that if I can't get next month's box oh well I'll be okay. I think I will survive. I just want to see what this is actually about. I want to share with you guys my thoughts and my thoughts, how I think and how I feel about this new box here from BAM Box um, because they've never done a game box before. This is brand new. This is the actually the very first gamer box. My earpiece keeps falling out. This is actually the very first gamer box they have done. So. For our first Gamer Box, Bam Box, Mystery Box, we're going to open this up together. It is still sealed. So we're going to bring out our handy dandy trusty knife. And if you all are not new to the channel, I always try to cut a finger off at some point in time while I'm unboxing things. I do cut toward me. Not good, not safe, so don't do it. I do wave sharp objects at people. But let's get into this. Okay, so if I can cut it. Alright, and in true BAM fashion, we will always be greeted with some black tissue paper. Ugh, let's see if I can remember how to do this because I honestly don't. So, okay, okay. We got some weird stuff going on around here. Um, first, we have a card, which, use BAM code, what is this, okay, I'm going to let you all use this code if you are interested in getting 25% off your first BAM, there you go, is it there, can you seize it, it is BAM25, if you want to use that to get your first, uh, your first box, I think that's what this is. Your first box, 25% off. It expires at the end of the year. So you have until December 31st. Yes, I had to do math. But there. There's the code. If you want to use it, it is BAM25. All caps. 
all right all right what do we got what do we got i don't know what we got so the first thing we have here is the print which i'm not gonna lie i have no clue what this is oh this might have been the worst thing i could have possibly had done for myself is get a game box that i have no clue what anything is so this is the custom art print i can't read that artist's name sorry that's adam's name Adam is the curator of a BAM box. It is hand signed by the artist. I don't see, it's signed down here, but I don't see who the artist is. It usually, it used to say it on the back. Um, what is this? If, uh, and they do come with a certificate of authenticity. So there is that and I still don't know what this print is, so when we get to the um, cheater card, the spoiler card, I will let you guys know, which I believe is this. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, maybe. Artist Matt something or another. Sorry. <laughs> um, keep your eye out for the variant. It's fan favorite. In this God of War fan art print. So God of War. Okay. It's God of War art print. Nice. Looks pretty cool. Alrighty. The next thing we have is a belt buckle I guess what is this it is a prop replica from legends from legend of Zelda and it's Link's shield it has a clip on the back so I'm not exactly for sure maybe a keychain it doesn't really say it just says it's Link's shield so that's interesting that's cool I like Zelda and yes, guys, Zelda is the girl, not the guy. The guy is Link. So whatever memes you all see out there, if I see you and being dumb, I'm going to call you out. Alrighty, the next thing we have ooh, is a holographic Batman card. So, okay, we got another kind of like an art print. It's like an art card. So that is cool. And it's got the... Often the thing on the back, that thing, the certificate. What is this? I don't know what this is. One. Okay, it says box number one. One of the items in your BAM. In your BAM is a variant. That means there are, there are fewer made, than. I can't read. Fewer made than the original item. Okay, please check to see what you got. Okay, um, well, it's probably not going to be this. Volume 1, Box 1. This is, oh, Punch Out? Is it Punch Out? This pin has a limited release. So this is probably going to be my limited item. Is the pin. And I think it's punch out. Is it punch out? It's the fan art pin. Ro or Brian Romeo. I think has done a lot of stuff for BAM before. I can't remember. Keep your eye out for the other two variant pins. So, okay, so this is my level up pen. They are not doing one-ups with this box. I don't know if they're doing one-ups with the other box, but they are not doing one-ups. This is my level up pen. So I did get the variant. That is cool. It is Punch-Out. It is 1987 Punch-Out. I never played Punch-Out, but that's cool. I'm glad I got this pen. That's awesome. 
So I got a variant. I finally got a variant of something that's awesome. All right. We got a scratch off. We'll do that last. And then the last item. What is this? Piece of paper. Oh, we got band paper. <laughs> the last item we have is a signed Funko Pop of Crash Bandicoot. It, Tiny Tiger. So is it not Crash? I'm confused. It's from Crash Bandicoot. So it's Tiny Tiger. Okay. I'm good with that. I used to play a little Crash Bandicoot when I was younger. Not much, because I didn't own a PS. I don't like the plastic on these things. I know that there's a reason for it, but there. That is the Crash Bandicoot uh, Funko Pop. And it's signed. Who is it signed by? Brendan O'Brien. Brendan O'Brien? Okay, so that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I don't... Okay, so the variant items were two different items, I'm assuming, from God of War. Um... And you also could have gotten the Chase version of the Funko Pop, but it would have been Crash Bandicoot. 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 Not Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Okay, so recap, and then we will do the, uh, the scratch-off thing. We got the Funko Pop, hand signed. Don't know what I'm going to do with it quite yet. I think in my game room, I'm just going to have like a thing behind me somewhere. We'll figure that out. Um, we have the pin, which was my level up thing, my level up item from Punch Out. We have Zelda Shield, or not Zelda Shield, Link Shield. Look, I just got on y'all for that. Legends of Zelda, Link's Shield. We have the custom Batman card, which is really cool. And then we have the God of War art print, which I do like, even though I don't play it. Put all of that down here and then let's find something to do this scratch off I'm not for sure what I have will this work it might work all right so let's do this scratch off let's see if I want anything match three winning match three and win so I got a BAM I got a game and I got a BAM so no we did not win. Bummer. Kind of figured that was going to happen. But that's okay. What do I think about this box? What are my thoughts? What are my feelings? I like it. Um, it definitely hits a lot of different games. Some of which I have not played. Um, like the God of War. I have not played. I don't know what Batman this is actually from. I've played some Batman games. But regardless, Batman is still pretty awesome in my book. I've played Punch-Out not very often. I think I've only played it like a couple of times. But that is still a really cool, iconic game. And it is a very cool, iconic pen. And I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love that pen. It is awesome. And I'm glad I got the variant. So, yay. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Cute, cute, cute. Crash Bandicoot, I did play that as a kid um, when I would go over to my father's house, so that is a really good pop. I wish I would have gotten the Chase variant, obviously, of Crash, because I don't remember Tiny t Tiny Tiger, but that's okay. It's still a pop. It is still cool. It is still a game, so I do think that this was a very good box. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. So this, all in all, was a very good box. I would give it roughly a 8 out of 10. <laughs> just because some of the items were hit and miss but all in all it was a good box it was very well curated and I absolutely love the fact that they are getting into a different type of box now 
instead of just your horror box and your geek box. Now you've got something for gamers. And if you are a gamer, I would so highly recommend you check it out. Go look up um, under um, other unboxing videos and try to see what other people get for the next couple of months. If you like what you see, check them out. Just take the plunge. Use the code that I put in the description. It will be BAM25 for 25% off. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's still good to check it out anyway. I will leave a link in the description box below that will take you straight over to the website so you can make your purchase if you are interested in the game box, the horror box, or the geek box. They have three different boxes you can choose from. They are all hit and miss. Keep that in mind. It is a mystery box. You don't know what you're going to get. I didn't know what I was going to get on this one, to be quite honest, because I hadn't seen anything, no spoilers, anything for what's to come. So this was a complete surprise, and I was happy with it very happy with it so keep it in mind it is a mystery box you never know what you're going to get point blank period it's with any box not just this one i love this box again eight out of ten they did a very 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 good job of curating this one for their very first gamer box and i'm super excited and i can't wait for the next one so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know what you would like to see in future gaming boxes if you do get this box or if you just want to voice your opinion on it let me know I know at least one or two people that still work with BAM um, that are still moderators I might be able to say hey people have been watching my videos and they say this you know just kind of give them a little a little bit of a uh, little bit of feedback I don't know <laughs> Paul does a really good job at listening to feedback. If you join the BAM uh, community on Facebook, he is really good at listening to feedback. Adam's really good at listening to feedback. And my buddy John is really good at listening to feedback. So, uh, might be able to help them curate a, a future BAM game box. Because I'm sure they've already got everything in the works for their next one. But, I mean, guys, just creativity. Um, what am I looking for? constructive criticism a few ideas would be great again first box first game box that's what this is is the first game box and I think they did a great job so again leave all your comments in the description or in the link leave all your comments in the comment section below I will leave a link in the description box below and I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys on the next one